In today's fast-paced and digitally driven world, it can be challenging to maintain a sense of inner peace, focus, and balance. The constant influx of information, notifications, and distractions can easily pull us away from what truly matters. However, by incorporating the principles of Stoicism into our lives and establishing energizing morning rituals, we can navigate the digital landscape with wisdom, resilience, and a sense of purpose. In this Audible, we will explore a series of powerful morning rituals designed specifically for embracing Stoicism in the digital world. These rituals are not only unique but also practical and actionable, allowing you to start your day with intention and cultivate the Stoic virtues necessary for living a fulfilling and meaningful life in the digital age. By combining elements such as digital detox, mindful awakening, journaling, intentional technology engagement, connection with nature, and reflection, these morning rituals provide a holistic approach to embracing Stoicism while navigating the challenges and distractions of the digital realm. Through these rituals, you will discover the power of mindfulness, gratitude, self-reflection, and setting intentional boundaries with technology. You will learn how to prioritize what truly matters, cultivate resilience in the face of digital temptations, and foster a deeper sense of connection with yourself, others, and the natural world. Join us on this journey as we explore new and energizing morning rituals for embracing Stoicism in the digital world. By incorporating these practices into your daily routine, you can cultivate a Stoic mindset, reclaim control over your digital interactions, and embark on a path of personal growth and fulfillment in the midst of the digital revolution. Chapter 1. The Power of Perception In this chapter, we delve into Marcus Aurelius's teachings on the power of perception and how it influences our experiences and emotions. By understanding the role of perception, we can gain control over our thoughts and reactions, leading to a more serene and balanced mindset. Understanding Perception Marcus Aurelius teaches us that our experiences are shaped not by the events themselves but by how we perceive and interpret them. He emphasizes that we have the power to choose our thoughts and reactions, regardless of external circumstances. Actionable Practice 1. Practicing Mindful Awareness Engage in a daily practice of mindful awareness. Take a few moments each day to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. Notice the patterns of perception that arise in different situations. By cultivating this awareness, you can identify any negative or irrational thought patterns and consciously choose to shift your perspective. Actionable Practice 2. Reframing Negative Situations when faced with challenging situations, consciously reframe them in a more positive or constructive light. For example, if you encounter a setback, view it as an opportunity for growth and learning rather than a failure. By reframing negative events, you can transform them into catalysts for personal development and resilience. Actionable Practice 3. Practicing Empathy and Perspective Taking Developing empathy and the ability to see things from different perspectives can greatly enhance our perception. When interacting with others, try to understand their point of view and empathize with their experiences. This practice cultivates compassion and helps us avoid making hasty judgments based on limited information. Actionable Practice 4. Gratitude and Appreciation Practice gratitude and appreciation for the present moment and the experiences it brings. Train your mind to focus on the positive aspects of your life rather than dwelling on what is lacking. Cultivating gratitude shifts your perception towards abundance and fosters a sense of contentment and joy. Actionable Practice 5. Questioning Assumptions and Beliefs Challenge your assumptions and beliefs to gain a broader perspective. Often, our perceptions are influenced by preconceived notions or biases. Take time to critically examine your beliefs and question their validity. 
This practice opens up new possibilities and allows for a more nuanced understanding of the world. Perception is a powerful force that shapes our experiences and emotions. By cultivating mindful awareness, reframing negative situations, practicing empathy, expressing gratitude, and questioning assumptions, we can harness the power of perception to transform our lives. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that we have the ability to choose our thoughts and reactions, empowering us to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity. Embrace the power of perception and unlock a new level of serenity and clarity in your daily life. Subscribe to Illuminate Peak now for more great content. Chapter 2 Acceptance of the Present Moment In this chapter, we explore Marcus Aurelius's teachings on the importance of accepting the present moment. By embracing the things that are beyond our control and focusing on the present, we can find peace amidst the chaos and uncertainties of life. Recognizing the Limits of Control Marcus Aurelius reminds us that there are aspects of life that lie beyond our control. By accepting this fundamental truth, we can free ourselves from unnecessary stress and frustration. Actionable Practice 1 – Mindful Acceptance Practice mindful acceptance by cultivating awareness of the present moment. Pay attention to your thoughts and emotions without judgment, acknowledging them without clinging or resisting. Allow the present moment to unfold naturally, embracing it with an open mind and heart. Actionable Practice 2 – Letting Go of Resistance When faced with circumstances beyond your control, consciously choose to let go of resistance. Understand that resisting or fighting against the inevitable only leads to suffering. Instead, surrender to the flow of life and accept the circumstances as they are, allowing yourself to find peace in the midst of challenges. Actionable Practice 3 – Non-Attachment to Outcomes Detach yourself from excessive attachment to specific outcomes. While it is natural to have goals and desires, recognize that attachment to a specific outcome can lead to disappointment and dissatisfaction. Shift your focus from the outcome to the process and the efforts you put forth. Find fulfillment in the journey rather than solely relying on the destination. Actionable Practice 4 – Embracing Impermanence Reflect on the impermanence of all things. Recognize that everything in life is transient and subject to change. By embracing the impermanence of life, we can appreciate each moment as a precious gift and avoid clinging to fleeting experiences or material possessions. Actionable Practice 5 – Cultivating Contentment Develop a sense of contentment by appreciating what you have in the present moment. Practice gratitude for the simple pleasures in life and acknowledge the abundance that surrounds you. By shifting your focus to what is present rather than what is lacking, you can cultivate a deep sense of contentment and fulfillment. Marcus Aurelius teaches us the power of accepting the present moment and embracing the things that are beyond our control. By practicing mindful acceptance, letting go of resistance, detaching from outcomes, embracing impermanence, and cultivating contentment, we can find peace and serenity in the midst of life's uncertainties. Embrace the present moment and discover the profound joy and tranquility that lies within it. Chapter 3 – Virtue as the Ultimate Good In this chapter, we delve into Marcus Aurelius's teachings on virtue as the ultimate good. He emphasizes the importance of cultivating virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. By aligning our actions with these virtues, we can lead a virtuous and fulfilling life. Understanding Virtue Marcus Aurelius believes that true happiness and fulfillment come from living a virtuous life. Virtue, according to him, is the key to cultivating inner tranquility and maintaining harmonious relationships with others. Actionable Practice 1 – Cultivating Wisdom Strive to cultivate wisdom through lifelong learning and self-reflection. 
make a habit of seeking knowledge, reading books, and engaging in meaningful conversations. Apply the wisdom gained in practical situations, making thoughtful decisions based on a broad understanding of the world. Actionable practice 2. Practicing justice. Act with fairness, integrity, and compassion towards others. Treat everyone with respect and ensure that your actions align with principles of fairness and equity. Stand up for what is right and just, even when it may be challenging. Actionable Practice 3. Developing Courage. Develop courage by facing your fears and embracing challenges. Step outside of your comfort zone and pursue your goals with determination. Stand up for your beliefs and values, even in the face of opposition. Courage allows you to grow and overcome obstacles on the path to virtue. Actionable Practice 4. Exercising Temperance Practice temperance by exercising self-control and moderation in all aspects of life. Avoid excesses and indulgences that may harm your well-being or lead to imbalance. Strive for balance in your actions, emotions, and desires, finding a middle ground that promotes harmony and virtue. Actionable Practice 5 – Cultivating Compassion and Benevolence Develop compassion and benevolence towards others. Practice empathy and kindness in your interactions, seeking to understand and alleviate the suffering of others. Look for opportunities to contribute to the well-being of those around you, both in small acts of kindness and in larger acts of service. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that virtue is the ultimate good and the path to a well-lived life. By cultivating wisdom, practicing justice, developing courage, exercising temperance, and cultivating compassion, we can align our actions with the virtues that lead to inner tranquility and harmonious relationships. Embrace the pursuit of virtue and unlock a deep sense of purpose, fulfillment, and goodness in your life. Chapter 4, Impermanence and Detachment In this chapter, we explore Marcus Aurelius's teachings on impermanence and detachment. He reminds us that everything in life is transient and subject to change. By cultivating an understanding of impermanence and practicing detachment, we can find serenity and freedom from attachment. Recognizing Impermanence Marcus Aurelius encourages us to recognize the impermanent nature of all things. From material possessions to relationships and even our own lives, nothing remains the same forever. Accepting this truth allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with greater equanimity. Actionable Practice 1 – Reflection on Impermanence Set aside time for reflection on the impermanence of life. Contemplate the fleeting nature of experiences, relationships, and possessions. Recognize that clinging to things that are inherently transient leads to suffering. Embrace the beauty and preciousness of each moment, knowing that it will not last forever. Actionable Practice 2 – Letting Go of Attachment Practice letting go of attachment to outcomes, expectations, and material possessions. Detach yourself from the desire for permanence and control. Instead, focus on the present moment and appreciate it for what it is, without excessive attachment to how things should be. Actionable Practice 3 – Embracing Change Instead of resisting change, embrace it as an integral part of life's journey. Understand that change brings growth and new opportunities. Adaptability and flexibility become essential qualities as we navigate the ever-changing circumstances of life. Embrace change with an open mind and a willingness to learn and evolve. Actionable Practice 4 – Mindfulness in the Present Moment Cultivate mindfulness by anchoring yourself in the present moment. Direct your attention to the here and now, letting go of regrets about the past or anxieties about the future. By fully immersing yourself in the present, you can appreciate the beauty and richness of each passing moment. Actionable Practice 5 
Finding joy in non-attachment. Discover the joy and freedom that come with non-attachment. When we detach ourselves from the outcomes of our actions or the pursuit of external validations, we find inner peace and contentment. Seek happiness and fulfillment within rather than relying on external circumstances or possessions. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that embracing impermanence and practicing detachment liberates us from the shackles of attachment and suffering. By reflecting on impermanence, letting go of attachment, embracing change, cultivating mindfulness, and finding joy in non-attachment, we can live with greater freedom, peace, and acceptance. Embrace the wisdom of impermanence and detachment, and embark on a journey of inner tranquility and liberation. Chapter 5, The Dichotomy of Control In this chapter, we explore Marcus Aurelius's teachings on the dichotomy of control. He emphasizes that some things are within our control, while others are not. By understanding and accepting this distinction, we can cultivate inner peace and focus our efforts on what truly matters. Understanding the Dichotomy of Control Marcus Aurelius reminds us that there are two categories of things in life, those that are within our control and those that are beyond our control. He encourages us to discern between the two and direct our energy towards what we can influence. Actionable Practice 1 – Identifying the Sphere of Control Reflect on the aspects of your life that are within your control. These include your thoughts, attitudes, actions, and choices. By identifying and acknowledging the things that you can directly influence, you can let go of unnecessary worries and frustrations about things beyond your control. Actionable Practice 2 – Acceptance of the Uncontrollable Practice acceptance of the things that are beyond your control. Understand that external events, the actions of others, and certain circumstances are outside of your sphere of influence. Instead of resisting or becoming anxious about these uncontrollable factors, cultivate a mindset of acceptance and focus on your response to them. Actionable Practice 3 – Mindful Response, Not Reactivity When faced with situations beyond your control, Cultivate mindful response instead of reactive behavior. Pause and take a moment to reflect before responding. Choose a calm and thoughtful approach rather than letting impulsive reactions dictate your actions. By responding mindfully, you can navigate challenges with greater wisdom and composure. Actionable Practice 4 – Setting Internal Goals Shift your focus from external outcomes to internal goals and virtues. Instead of fixating on achieving specific results, set intentions and goals related to personal growth, character development, and living in accordance with your values. This internal focus allows you to find fulfillment and meaning regardless of external circumstances. Actionable Practice 5 – Gratitude for the Present Moment Cultivate gratitude for the present moment and the things within your control. Appreciate the power you have over your thoughts, actions, and choices. Recognize the opportunities for growth and positive change that exist within your sphere of influence. Gratitude enhances your sense of empowerment and contentment. Marcus Aurelius teaches us the importance of recognizing and accepting the dichotomy of control. By identifying the aspects of our lives that are within our control and letting go of attachment to the uncontrollable, we can cultivate inner peace, resilience, and focus our efforts on what truly matters. Embrace the dichotomy of control and discover the power of mindful response, acceptance, and gratitude in living a meaningful and fulfilling life. In conclusion, Marcus Aurelius's teachings offer profound insights into various aspects of life and philosophy. Through his Stoic philosophy, he provides practical guidance for navigating the challenges and complexities of human existence. In Chapter 1, we learned about the power of perception and how it shapes our experiences. By practicing mindful awareness, reframing negative situations, 
cultivating empathy, expressing gratitude, and questioning our assumptions, we can harness the power of perception to transform our lives. Chapter 2 emphasized the importance of accepting the present moment. By embracing what is beyond our control, letting go of resistance, practicing non-attachment, and embracing impermanence, we can find peace and serenity amidst life's uncertainties. Virtue as the ultimate good was explored in Chapter 3. By cultivating wisdom, practicing justice, developing courage, exercising temperance, and cultivating compassion, we can align our actions with the virtues that lead to inner tranquility and harmonious relationships. Chapter 4 focused on impermanence and detachment. By recognizing the transient nature of all things, letting go of attachment, embracing change, cultivating mindfulness, and finding joy in non-attachment, we can experience freedom from suffering and find serenity. Lastly, in Chapter 5, we explored the dichotomy of control. By identifying the aspects within our control, accepting the uncontrollable, responding mindfully, setting internal goals, and practicing gratitude, we can cultivate inner peace, resilience, and focus our efforts on what truly matters. Overall, Marcus Aurelius's teachings offer actionable practices that can be applied in our daily lives. They guide us towards self-reflection, personal growth, and the pursuit of a virtuous and meaningful existence. By embracing these teachings, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace, wisdom, and resilience, enabling us to lead a life of purpose and fulfillment.